and the place explodes. You walk out here and the crowd goes crazy. Elvis wow. has left the building. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have a good summer? Yeah, I was living out in L.A., kind of a weird summer. I had to go yeah. underground out of fear that somebody from the Fox network might call me to host The Late Show. And, uh, you know, this is like jury duty in L.A. No, I... <laughs> People were refusing to vote in general elections for fear they might be subpoenaed into the studio to <laughs> gang interview Climax or Oingo Boingo, you know. <laughs> And I went on tour for a while with a couple members of the show, Kevin Nealon and the church chick, Dana Carvey. And, uh... Do you enjoy were... that kind of work, out traveling? Is this clubs or colleges? Well, or we, we played a small comedy club in the Deep South called I Don't Get It. And, uh... <laughs> and I don't have anything against people in the South. I think, by and large, they're nice. But there's always that small clique of extras from Deliverance who want to, uh... <laughs> You know, play spoof the Yankee or something uh, like that. You know, I mean, there are guys down there who are their own fathers. You know, I mean, this is the, uh, it's the it's the sort of place where people read the Sunday comics with a yellow highlighter. You know, just in, in case they come across a particularly meaningful passage in Beetle Bailey that they might want to isolate and pass something on something that progeny. applies to their daily life. Exactly. Sure. Yeah, I understand that. See. Uh, uh, did you find them, uh, by and large, receptive, though, to what you guys were doing? Well, some, you know, I do a lot of stuff about the news, and uh, sometimes they, they don't pick up on that. And sometimes they find things that I say a little, uh, you know, a little too volatile. You know, but the news is volatile. Oh, well, uh, you, you're right in the middle. This has been a, uh, yeah. a bumper crop this and last couple of months. Sex is the big story in the news. I hate to be the bearer of bad tidings, but the news on the sexual front is unrelentingly bleak. I, read this morning where they now believe you can get AIDS from hoping you don't get it, which is, uh, you know, they say when you make love with somebody, now you make love with everybody they've made love with for the last 10 years. Yeah. They've amended that. It's even worse. They now believe you've made love with everybody they turned down. Oh, which is, uh, so, geez, that's mind boggling. Where? A lot of sex in the news, too. Jessica Hahn came out with her expose in the new Playboy. Uh, grim story. Hard to believe Jim Baker would want to go outside the marriage for sex, huh? <laughs> <laughs> this is, uh, this, this has got to be like doing it with the Joker from Batman or something. I mean, this is, while we're on the subject, does anybody else ever get the urge to see Nancy Reagan dressed up in Frank Gorshin's old Riddler costume? Uh, <laughs> Reagan, Reagan getting up there. He's old now. I don't want to say Reagan is senile, but I think I read this morning where he's now eligible for pre-boarding Air Force One. You know, uh, <laughs> with all small children and world leaders. You know, this guy would have been kicked out of Menudo 60 years ago. <laughs> what else is in the news? Beatles have come out with their coffee. <laughs> do you, excuse me. Excuse me. Do you even need me here, Dennis? <laughs> yeah. Can I be? I just be over there. You know, I'm backstage and the crowd sounded like Hitler's bunker. I thought I'd run with it out here, you know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, so anyway, tell me about this. Do you ever, do you ever read the, uh, the Inquirer, for example? Yeah, yeah, I, I do read the Inquirer. I saw a story in the Inquirer, even I couldn't believe it. The Inquirer said they actually found a woman in North Dakota who is not a psychic. No, <laughs> it'll be darned, yeah. What, what are you kidding me? You know, it frightens me about the Inquirer. There's a subscription form in there. Right. Now, I can see if you're checking out the supermarket, you look off the left-hand side, you see a picture of Princess Carol in a Monaco with a Martian hand growing out of her forehead. <laughs> Maybe you've got an impulse buy, okay? But if you're sitting at home with this form thinking, I'm gonna need this valuable data for the next couple of years, you're a very dangerous individual. And I think society has got to step in before you decide to breed, you know? I mean, they're just... You seen this psychic they have in the Enquirer, Jean Dixon, huh? You know, this woman doesn't she, look Jean's like... Jean's actually been with us on the show. She doesn't look like she can see the top line on the eye chart, much less the future. I mean, and if she can, she can obviously see far enough to a time when bangs will be back in stuff, you know. I mean, <laughs> see, the, the Beatles have come out with their compact discs. Uh -huh, and, here uh, we are again. We're about... <laughs> we've come full circle then, haven't we? And to grab it and take it back. That's right. We're right back where we ought to be. The Beatles come out with a compact disc. I was reading this morning that from his cell in Southern California, Charles Manson said, you know, the clarity on these CDs is just amazing. And I guess in retrospect, they probably weren't talking to me on the albums. I uh, <laughs> must have just had a blown yeah. speaker wire. I, I, I feel like such a jerk. I really, uh, <laughs> 
What about Elvis? You see him mentioned a lot in... Uh... Yeah. Elvis is in the Inquirer, you know. I pick up the Inquirer just to see where Elvis has turned up this week. You know what I mean? <laughs> this guy didn't work this hard when he was alive. Now he's showing up in people's tater cellars or... Uh, <laughs> tater cellars. Hovering over tater a swap cellars. meet in Iowa. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. maybe it's just me, Dave. I think you got to slow down a little when you die. <laughs> I, I think the colonel is pushing him way too hard. And, uh, but I guess death can inevitably be traced back to bad management. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so now you start the, uh, your third season up there on yeah. Saturday. Three Things look pretty good? Does. Yeah, well, we can't go wrong this weekend. We have uh, Steve Martin yeah. and uh, Sting, yeah. And uh, Steve Martin and Sting. Tomorrow night we have an insurance investigator. <laughs> I, I, And uh, we've got a cast that uh, I might say I'm often... Very funny. I'm often not in the ensemble part of the show, so uh, while well, I don't work with them directly all the time, I have to say they're the most talented group of people I've ever worked with. They really funny. are, and yeah. I'm not giving you showbiz uh, smoke. Uh, Phil Hartman, Dana Carvey, Jan Hooks, Nora Dunn, John Lovitz, Kevin Nealon, uh, all good friends and all wonderful people, and I think the show is really going to be back this year. I think we're primed and ready, and it should be a good, a good year. I'm sure you're right, and, and thank you for coming. Thanks, David. And I, I helped a little, didn't I? A little bit I helped. Yeah.